The Atari Z Video Game System Atari XEGS is a home video game console released by Atari Corporation in 1987. Based on Atari's 8-bit 65XE computer, the XEGS is compatible with the existing Atari 8-bit computer software library. Additionally, it is able to operate as either a standalone console or full computer with the addition of its specially designed keyboard. In computer mode, it may utilize the majority of peripherals released for Atari's 8-bit computer line. Atari packaged the XEGS as a basic set consisting of only the console and joystick, and as a deluxe set consisting of the console, keyboard, joystick and light gun. The XEGS was supported by new titles, such as Barnyard Blaster and Bug Hunt, plus cartridge ports of older games, such as Fight Night Accolade, 1985, Load Runner Broderbund, 1983, Necromancer Synapse Software, 1982, and Ballblazer Lucasfilm Games, 1985. History John J. Anderson of Creative Computing stated in 1984, when Atari, Inc. had great financial difficulties as a division of Warner Communications, that it could and should have released a new video game console in 1981 based on its 8-bit computers and compatible with its software library. The company instead released the incompatible Atari 5200. After Jack Tramiel purchased the company, Atari Corp. re-released two game consoles in 1986, the Atari 7800, which had previously been released in a brief test run in 1984, and the Atari 2600 Jr., an updated version of the Atari VCS, 2600. The XEGS followed, building on Atari's 8-bit computer line which had started with the Atari 400 and 800. In practice the XEGS is a repackaged Atari 65XE, is compatible with the existing range of Atari 8-bit computer software and peripherals, and thus could function as a home computer. Atari conceived the console in a plan to increase the company's console market share while improving sales of its 8-bit home computer family. Providing a beginning computer and sophisticated game console in one device, was thought to convince more retailers and software developers to support the platform. In May 1987, Atari's then Director of Communications, Neil Harris, updated the online Atari community by outlining this plan. It noted that the XEGS was intended to further the 8-bit line by providing mass merchants with a device that was more appealing to their markets. The system co-existed with the Atari 7800 and remodeled Atari 2600 on store shelves and was occasionally featured alongside those systems in Atari print ads and television commercials. Topic: <laughs> Games. The XEGS shipped with the Atari 8-bit version of Missile Command built-in, Flight Simulator 2 bundled with the keyboard component, and Bug Hunt which is compatible with the light gun. As the XEGS is compatible with the earlier 8-bit software, many games released under the XEGS banner were simply older games rebadged. This was done to the extent that some games were shipped in the old Atari 400-800's packaging, bearing only a new sticker to indicate that they were also compatible with the XEGS. Reception Atari sold 100,000 Z game systems during the Christmas season in 1987, every unit that was produced during its launch window. Peripherals The XEGS was released in a basic set and a deluxe set. The basic set includes only the console and a standard CX40 joystick albeit with a gray base to match the XEGS, rather than the original black. The deluxe set consists of the console, the CX40 joystick, a keyboard which enables home computer functionality, and the XG1 light gun. The keyboard and light gun peripherals were also released separately outside North America. This is the first light gun produced by Atari, and it is also compatible with the Atari 7800 and Atari 2600. In addition, the XEGS can use the standard Atari 8 bit peripherals, allowing the use of devices such as disk drives, modems, and printers. Topic. 
Topic See also History of Atari Atari 8-bit computers Atari 8-bit peripherals <laughs>